Hey everyone, HHO for all. I want to show you guys a new design that I came up with. Um, actually, I came up with it a long time ago, and I just never got around to it until now. Um, the idea is these slot covers for computer cases. Um, they're stainless steel. They're not the highest quality, but they are stainless. And what I do is I cut off the top here so that uh, you just have a straight plate. And then I drilled out holes on either end, and I put a nylon bolt and nut through the hole so that I can assemble a cell. And um, I've got it set up where it's a negative on the outside and positive on the inside. Um, tried to do positive on the outside, but uh, it just got way too hot. So anyway, I'm going to show you the output on this just to show you guys what I'm playing with. I know I had pretty much swore off uh, the wet cells altogether, and I was pretty much going to stick to dry cells, but I figured this was an easy build, and I wanted to try it out, and um, I'm surprised with the results, so I want to show you guys what the output looks like and what kind of amperage I'm getting off of this. And the amperage you can see that is right around 10 to 11 boys it's, it's jumping up and down there don't like that really don't like it jumping like that but the output on this is really really good just a torrent of bubbles coming up from from a small cell like that and it's pretty impressive you know, about 11 amps, and that much output, it's not too bad. It makes me think, you know, if if you could put, say, a couple of these in a little container like this even. You know, if you had three of these fuel cells all hooked up together in series, you could probably be pulling yourself, uh, you know, one and a half to two liters per minute off a wet cell. Something to think about. Anyway, this has been HHO for all. I'm out of here.